first thing I want to talk about for Bryce Young is his arm talent. While he's not in the same tier as a Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, or Justin Herbert, he can make all the NFL throws. And this first play is a good example of him showing his downfield touch and accuracy. Where he drives this deep corner, drops it right in the bucket over about 40 air yards. The second throw, you see the velocity to drive it in this window between these two linebackers into the middle of the field. And this next play is very impressive. Where you see him work the full field, come back and throw an absolute strike, 30 air yards on a rope for what should have been a touchdown. In the last play, you see that patience in the pocket once again, where he's gonna hang, step up into the pocket and drive this deep crosser to the field over 30 air yards. He also knows when he has to put touch on the football to layer it over underneath defenders. And this player here is a perfect example of that. Unlike most quarterbacks his age, Bryce Young has a great feel and he's very comfortable working the entire field. And these two plays are great examples of that. He's gonna start looking to the field he comes back to the boundary. You see his eyes and feet are always connected and he makes this throw for a touchdown. He does it again here where he looks filled, recognizes this boundary safety rotating over, gets his feet ready, comes back to the boundary and throws a strike in that window. Another very impressive trait that Young possesses is his awareness and feel within the pocket. He has a great feel as to when to climb up into the pocket to avoid edge pressure and he has great toughness and this player here is a great example where he hangs in and takes a huge hit but still delivers a strike you see that feel again here where he never drops his eyes or panics in the pocket he's always got his eyes downfield surveying even as he climbs and he throws a beautiful deep ball here hits his target in stride he also thrives versus the blitz. On this play, he's gonna quickly recognize this cat blitz from the boundary post snap. And then you see how quickly he's able to get his feet set to throw and exploit the vacant area left behind by the blitzer. On the second play, the blitzer is actually gonna come through free, but you see no panic. He never drops his eyes. He's gonna just calmly slide away from pressure to throw a strike and on this play similar thing blitzer comes through free no panic just calmly evades the pressure gets his eyes downfield makes a great throw on the move what i want to touch on next is probably my favorite trait of young's and it's his ability to manipulate defenders with his eyes feet and shoulders so in this first example we're going to see him look to the flat and not just look to the flat commit his entire body his base and his shoulders to the flat to move number five out of this window. If you watch number five, you see him move down to the flat and then you see Young reset and throw right in the window left behind him. Similar thing here where he's not just gonna use his eyes, it's his eyes and his shoulders to look to the flat subtly and quickly to move this defender down, reset and hit the window in behind. Another elite skill he possesses is his ability to improvise and playmake. This first play is a great example of that. When protection breaks down, he's forced to extend and he's able to flip his hips, reset his base, get his eyes back downfield and throw a strike. This play against Texas is another great example where he scrambles out to his right, one-on-one -on -one with the defender in space. He has great agility and movement skills. And he's great at getting his feet reset even when outside the pocket. Here's another good example. He's able to flip his hips, get set, get squared to the line of scrimmage to throw a touchdown. And while Bryce Young's a pocket passer through and through, and he's a pretty reluctant runner who only does it when it's necessary, he's a really good athlete. And this first play is a good example of that. He definitely has the speed to win the edge and beat defenders. And you see in space, he also has a little bit of wiggle, a little bit of looseness. I would suspect he's probably run around four six, four sevens. He's a good athlete, but that slender frame in space is a little scary. This plays a great example of that agility, ability to dip under the blitz, win the edge, get a big game on first down. So I've talked about the positives and what I love about Ray Young, but I do have to talk about some of the quote unquote negatives. This first play, 
comes back to what I mentioned earlier. I did say that Bryce Young can make all the NFL throws, but he doesn't have that high-end arm talent. And on plays like that, this is apparent, apparent, where he doesn't have the arm strength to lead this target over the top. He leaves it short. Watch this one more time. He resets off the play fake. And ideally, you put this over the top. This is a touchdown, but he just doesn't have the arm strength to do that. Leaves it short, and it's an incompletion. There's also some inconsistency in his deep ball accuracy. On this play, from a clean pocket, no pressure, he simply overthrows the deep shot and misses. My biggest on-field concern for Young is his tendency to hold the ball just too long looking for the big play. On this play, he's on his own end zone. He's in his own end zone on third down. Pressure's getting through. And instead of just dumping this ball off to the check down or throwing it away, and accepting this and just punting it and living to fight another day. He tries to evade the sack. And this play could have been a safety, could have been a pick six, could have been a fumble six, could have been a disaster. Similar thing here. Third and short, I think it was third and three. He has the drag open underneath. Pressure's breaking down. He's getting interior pressure. So instead of just getting this ball all quick underneath, getting the first down, continuing the drive, he holds the football looking for this deep corner, takes a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. There is still one concern about Bryson that I haven't addressed, and that's his size. He's listed as six feet tall, which many, including myself, think may be a little generous, and 194 pounds. There is no current quarterback or any modern quarterback who succeeded that was sub six feet and sub 200 pounds. But Bryce Young has been an outlier at every level he's played at. He was the best quarterback in his high school recruiting class. He was the best quarterback as a first-year starter in the best conference in college football. To me, what truly separates him and makes him a high-end prospect is his ability to play with structure, to process the entire field, to play within the pocket with great composure and poise and make NFL throws, combined with that ability to improvise, play, make, extend, and make plays outside of structure. Now, the size does concern me, and it does give me pause, but I trust the on-field play of his more than any other quarterback in this class. And for that reason, I do believe he's the quarterback one of the 2023 class, and Stroud's close. Um, Jaron Hall of BYU is also a guy who I think is very intriguing, despite the age. I'm not the biggest Will Levis fan. Anthony Richardson's still unproven. I think DJ Wangalelele has made big strides this year. But from what I've seen this year and last year, I believe in Bryce Young, the person and the player. And I do think he'll be, he will be the best quarterback in this class.